Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Ella Dishes It Out. Yeah, today I'm sporting my glasses. And y'all, I gotta get my nails done today. So y'all see how bad it, I'm looking right now. <laughs> I definitely, I'm going, I have a four o'clock appointment at the nail shop to get these nails fixed. All right, so don't pay attention to my hands today. When I said that, you probably all are just gonna be looking at them anyway. All right, so today we're going to be making some delicious eggplant, um, eggplant um, lasagna. So we've got the eggplant, we've got our tomato sauce, we have our pepper seasoning, we have our, our, our garlic and herb seasoning, Italian seasoning, we have our uh, basil, and this, I'm a, this is a trick on how to keep basil fresh in your house. I pulled this out of my garden. You stick some water, you put it in a jar, pour some water in there, and this will last probably about a week in the house fresh. So, you know how you put it in the refrigerator, it wilts after about two or three days. But if you keep it in the water, you can, it'll last for about a week. Okay, so that's a little tip for you guys. All right, so we also are gonna use some um, Progresso breadcrumbs. About a cup of Progresso breadcrumbs. We're gonna start out with that. Three eggs. We're gonna use, we're gonna dip our eggplant in the, in the egg and then the breadcrumb mixture. We've got, I um, already poured, measured out my seasoning. Spray to spray the bottom of your pan. And then we're gonna use four different types of cheese. We're gonna use um, Monterey Jack. We're gonna use Gaiers. We're gonna use Cheddar. And we're going to use Feta. We're gonna put Feta on top, okay? So we're gonna get started. All right, so we got, I got my um, garlic here chopped up and I got some red onions chopped up. So I'm just going to divide these red onions. Just divide them up. They're gonna go into the lasagna. Um, now this recipe called for uh, like a vegetarian type of um, lasagna, but I'm not going for that. I want some meat. I need some meat in my life. So, okay, that didn't come out right, but anyway. Um, <laughs> all right, so um, we're going to add ground beef for our meat. I thought about seafood, but maybe I'll try seafood next time I make this recipe. Okay, this is my first time making this recipe, so we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully it'll turn out pretty good. Okay. So let's get started with chopping up our, I'm gonna start chopping up our um, eggplant. So first of all, you start off by cutting off this end right here. You don't want that. That was attached to the plant. Okay, then you cut off your butt, your butt. I'll call it the butt. Cut the butt off, okay. Then you just start dicing. Then you can start dicing. Eggplant's already been washed. So, and dry, so now we're just gonna dice it. Okay. We're gonna start off with uh, one eggplant and see how far we go with that one eggplant. I have an extra one over here, so in case I need it, I can pull it out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is first we're going to, first we're going to beat our eggs up. I don't think this is gonna be enough eggs, but we'll start out with these three eggs. I really don't believe it's gonna be enough. We'll start out with the three and we'll go from there. Okay, so what you do is you take your eggplant, you dip it in your egg mixture. Okay, I'm gonna put my seasoning in here. There's my seasoning. And I'm gonna put my, um, little hot seasoning in here. Peppers, hot peppers, just a few. I don't like my food too spicy. And shake that up. Stir it up. All right, now we're gonna dip this in here, both sides, coat both sides. And we're gonna transfer it. I'm gonna spray my pan, we're gonna transfer it over to the pan. So I'm gonna spray the pan. And move these out the way. Put that one there. Move 
these out the way. Pan right here. Ooh, got my knife. Okay, put that in the sink. All right, so shake off excess. Make sure it's well coated though. Transfer it to the pan. So you do that with all of your pieces. You're gonna brown it in the oven. That's the plan. To brown these in the oven, then take them out, then put our, our uh, tomato and cheese mixture on top of it to top it off. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, bread all of these, the rest of these um, uh, eggplant pieces and I'll come back when it's done. Okay, so I was able to uh, get all of them done and I put the big pan already in the oven and now I'm down to my last one. I'm gonna put this in the oven as well. I got another pan out. Put this uh, breadcrumbs on both sides. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven. Okay, let's get crumbled up, caked up breadcrumbs and taken out. So that's gonna fall off anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in the oven and we'll come back when that part is done. Okay guys, we're back. Okay, so we're getting ready to do our sauce now. Um, I'm gonna prepare the sauce. I already put just a little bit of this pepper seasoning in there, about a couple of tablespoons of pepper seasoning. Now we're gonna get my fresh basil. Pull off a few leaves. Okay, I'm gonna put the top back on there. We're gonna use the rest of these leaves for garnishment. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse off this basil really quickly and straight from the garden. It's clean. Okay, it's clean. So I'm gonna use these leaves that I just gonna slice them up. Tiny pieces, small as you can get them. Okay. I loved my garden this year. I had so many fresh vegetables, tomatoes, I made salsa with. You can check out those videos as well. I made tomatoes. Uh, sauce, homemade tomato sauce with my tomatoes. I made pickles with my cucumbers. I just did a lot of different things. And so now only thing I have left in my garden is a few peppers and uh, a couple of cantaloupes that are still really small. I'm hoping and praying that they get to a size that I can make a salad or something with them. So that's the last thing I have growing in my garden and it'll be shut down for the winter. Okay, I'm gonna take this garlic. I'm gonna stick that in there as well. In the sauce, mix. Okay, get all the garlic in there. All right, then I'm gonna take some of this um, garlic and herb seasoning and put it in there as well. So it's gonna be a really great Italian dish. Really great Italian dish. Okay, so now we stir that together and then I'm gonna go get my lasagna, my, I'm sorry, my um, eggplant and bring it over here so we can start layering.
Okay, so I'm gonna take these eggplants out, put some sauce on the bottom, the bottom of the pan, because I'm gonna be layering. So I'm gonna open all of these containers of cheese. Here's cheese. And open my Monterey Jack. Okay, so we're going to take these eggplants out of the container, like I said, because we're going to put some sauce at the bottom. Eggplant is so delicious. This is a healthy way to cook it. Very healthy way to cook it. Okay, put this pan on here. All right, here we go. So we're gonna put a little bit of sauce at the bottom of the pan. We're not gonna even mess with that, those crumbs at the bottom. We're just gonna let them stay there. at the bottom. I'm going to get my ground beef. I'm just going to lay it with the ground beef as well. Okay, here we go. So we're going to put eggplant. And we're going to put ground beef. This is my ground beef. I'm gonna layer ground beef. Well, probably half of the ground beef you're gonna use. Then we're gonna go with cheese. I got some more jack cheese, put a little of that on there. I'm going to do the sauce next, and then I'll do the cheese. Get some more sauce. Okay. Then cheese. Helping, um, however much cheese you want to you, go for it. Okay. Make sure my volume is up all the way. Okay, the next cheese we're going to do is the mild cheddar. Layer of mild cheddar. rich and flavorful. You can find it in your local grocery store, major chain grocery store. I don't think you'll find it in the smaller, smaller chains, but you will find it in the bigger chains, grocery stores. I've got mine at H-E-B. All right, so then we're gonna go with the eggplant again. We're not gonna put the ricotta cheese on there until we get to the I mean, the feta until we get to the end. I got four more of these to Just gonna do that. Gotta put one down here because the other one didn't have one down there. Okay, and we're gonna go with the sauce again. 
do the rest of the songs. This is gonna be a delicious Italian meal. sauce, but I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, so we're done with this pan. Now we're going to go to our ground beef. Start to lay your ground beef. It's almost like a sandwich. Ground beef on the sides. I've got lots of ground beef, so this can go anywhere now at this point. Get it on top of your eggplant mixture. Okay, and that's the end of that. Then we're gonna do another layer of cheese. Pretty, all these different colors. I need something green. Oh, I got something green. I got my leaves. I forgot about that. My basil leaves. It's going to give us some pretty pop color. On some damage. Okay, then we're going to add some Monterey Jack cheese. Isn't that pretty? That is, guys. So pretty. All the different colors. It's beautiful. cheesy. I'm using four different cheeses. I'm just going to use all the rest of this cheese in this container, this small container. All of that cheese. Next, we're going to add some feta just on top. Just sprinkle it on top. Not a whole lot of feta. Just a little bit. We probably could have saved some for our salad. Had the salad as a side dish with this meal, but it's all good. I'm not going to use much feta on here. Okay, next we're going to top it off. Once you take it out of the oven, we're going to top it off with our fresh bay leaves. Okay, I mean fresh basil leaves. All right, so this is ready to go to the oven now. Let's push the little cheese off, to, off the side so it won't turn brown, turn it brown too much. All right, we're going to put this in the oven and bake at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes, and we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, I'm back. I've taken my um, lasagna, lasagna out of the oven and I've garnished it with my um, basil leaves. So now let's dig in and see what it's going to look like on the plate. All right, so I'm just going to cut a piece here. 
the corner right here. Get it on the plate. But first, I want you to see how ooey gooey cheesy it is. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Just ooey gooey deliciousness. It's on the plate. It's cheesy. Get some of that juice and that sauce and that cheese and put it on there. Mmm, that looks so good. That looks so delish. So delicious. Okay, now it's time for the taste test. Okay, grab a fork. Time for the taste test. Oh, sorry about that guys. I'm trying to adjust my camera and it doesn't always want to cooperate. All right, so here we go. We're gonna taste it. Mm. Let's see, I don't even know where to start first. Uh, let me take a picture first and then I'll come back and we'll taste it. Okay, <clears throat> we're ready to taste. Turn the camera around. Let's dig in. I know it's gonna be good. Make sure I get some of that eggplant mixture in there with the cheese. And blow. And mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Heavenly. One more taste. Mmm. All those different cheeses mixed together. And the fried eggplant. Mmm. So delicious. Guys, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share on my channel, Ella Dishes It Out. Please subscribe. Thank you. And watch my videos. Watch some of my other videos as well. Thank you. And as always, bon appetit.